Okay, it's about 10.30 in the morning. We have to check out by 11. Um, I'm trying to upload the video for yesterday. 53 minutes remaining. Which means we don't have enough time to finish the upload before we have to leave. So... Hmm... Yesterday's video might be late. But, no matter, because it'll be up before this video anyway, so... No point in me telling you that. That's why it was late. There we go. Later the night. This should be called the night's in. Hey, look at bird. Bird. Wait, stop again. Stop again. What am I doing? Secret mission. Huh. Awesome. Now let's go before we get in trouble. First cache of day three in Kent, Washington. Might be in these bushes. Pretty cold. Um, yeah, it's kind of cold. You think it's here? I want to. So we found a cache, and um, it's pretty cool actually. It said you need a permanent marker. So I was like, I wonder why. And so I brought this, and this wouldn't work. So here's the cache. It's a tape measure, and you sign it on the uh, on the back of the tape measure. So that's kind of cool. Yeah, but that basically gives you a 16 foot long log book, which will last a really long time. So that's cool. Good one. Stopping for lunch. This is Jimmy's thing of fries, pretty tiny, but that one fry. We'll put it back. Put it back. This one fry. It's very big. That's how you spell B B E E D. Found another one in this grassy field. Well, it appeared to be a grassy field, and uh, hiccuping because of the meals. Until you look here. It's a huge billboard. This might be a cool effect if I go like this and walk around it. Might look cool. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, it was behind that stuff over there where Jimmy is. Back there. There's the car. We are in Fife, Washington. And, uh,. Yeah, still in Washington, even though we've been driving for several hours. Um, we still have to drive halfway across Oregon, and then, so we should probably get going soon. Yeah. We are in Tacoma, Washington. You can tell because of the Tacoma Dome. They should have called it the Tacoma Doma, I think, is a better name for it. Tacoma coma. <laughs> so it's like you're in the hospital and you can be like, I'm in a Tacoma. <laughs> or no, you wouldn't say that because you'd be in a coma. You he get, is in a Tacoma. He's in a Tacoma. It's funny. Anyway, there's the city of Tacoma, Washington. Over there. You just hit the windows. No, it's not. This one's called, Do Not Find This Cache, so of course we're going to find it. Yep. Hopefully. Hopefully. Last cache we went to, it's only at like a two-star terrain, but we turned it into a four-star terrain. 
we went cross country across Tacoma for about 300 feet, but it was like completely overgrown and raspberry bushes and everything else. It's, yeah, it was. Or blackberry bushes. Blackberry bushes. It wasn't um, the best way to get there. Anyway, we're at this one now, so I'm gonna look for it. Bye. Um, police stopped us. You know, hey, what are you doing? And we said, geocaching, have you heard of it? He's like, yeah, a little bit. Let me show you where one is. <laughs> Basically, after he said, you're not stealing wire or anything, right? No, I'm not stealing wire. So he said, follow us, or follow me, and I'll show you where one is. So he's uh, up ahead of us. Yeah, I know. So we're following this police car. To a cache. Prepare so, to turn right. We'll see now where he takes turn us. right. I don't want to go. So yeah, he was actually directing us to the cache that we found previously. The one that we had to go through all the bushes to get to, which we went the wrong way. He showed us the correct way to get to it, which we figured out after we had found it already. But he took us to that one. And he said, Oh I know of another one, and we're like, eh, we're probably gonna just get on our way. So thanks. He was nice though, except for assuming that we were stealing wire when he first met us. But anyway, we're uh, we're continuing south now. We're gonna get out of Tacoma. Bye. Now we found a series, which means there's 27 caches. But the problem is that the series heads away from the freeway. Freeway's over there. The series goes this way. So I've only got the first. Well, not the first, I've got the last six. So I have 23, 22 through 27. So we're just gonna get those because that's all that we have. So anyway, this is a very long road. Long <laughs> My phone path. is saying rerouting. It's funny. Very long walking path, it's not a road technically. I found a squirrel. He's already way up there. Pretty good little climbers. There's another one over here somewhere. Oh well. I need to find Jimmy. He's somewhere down here. He went on ahead. I was signing the last one. And he went ahead to the next one. So I'll have to find him. That took a little bit longer than I thought. But uh finally made it back to the car. We found five out of six. No, four out of six. Yeah. We didn't find two of them. But we didn't really look for that long because it's really cold and it's getting dark already. And we really want to find the original stash tribute plaque. Now, turn left. Yeah, just do what they say. Um, the only problem is that it's 120 miles away from here. And it's already starting to get dark. So, we're, pers we're pretty much going to skip by a whole bunch of caches and just go straight for the plaque right now. So, that's the plan. We'll probably get it by the time it's dark. It might even be dark before we get it. Yeah. Because the sun's supposed to set about 4.30 or so. It's 3.40 right now. That sucks. We should it's only 40 minutes. They should undo daylight savings time as you can see um, we stopped somewhere it's not dark yeah there's a change of plans there was a rest area with two caches so we're like well since we're just going through let's uh let's get these so we're not going to uh the plaque, the first cache ever hidden tribute plaque, right away. We're gonna find these two first, and then go. So anyway, all right. It's also very foggy on I-5 right now. I don't even know where we are. I know we're still in Washington, but I have no idea what city we're next to or, or anything. Check it out. What is that? Tracking number. I'll cover up the tracking code. They're 
there actually is trackable in it. Wow, that's the first one we found today. Amazing. It's dirty. We're hungry again. We're going to the country cafe. I don't know if I even got that in the shot. Let me just try again. So that's where we're going. So we're gonna eat here. It's 8 it. p.m. They're open. Good. Good. It's good. So we're inside the place, getting a breakfast burrito. And Jimmy's getting the same thing, except he's having an appetizer of strawberry jam. Should I drink some appetizer? How is your huge breakfast burrito, Jimmy? It's good. Mine's good too. It's got like hash browns, ham, three kinds of cheese, bacon, eggs. So good. So good. He's still got quite a bit left. It takes me a long time to eat things. Of course. It's surprising that it took a long time for me to eat this because it's huge. Oh, right, we need to pick one. This place actually has an elevator, Jimmy. Wow. We're getting fancier by the day. And it has an indoor pool. Indoor pool, elevator, three floors. And it's the cheapest so far. Amazing. So here's this place. This is what this looks like. Standard type of thing. Sink over here. Restroom, shower, whatever. Two things, a TV, an actual desk this time. I don't have to pull the little dresser over and sit on the edge of the bed. There's a, a real desk. That's nice. And air conditioning, heater. Basics, but it smells nicer in here. It smells fresh. Because of the air wick. Probably because of that.